So what's up guys, my name is Zenam. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use a one-shot kit in FL Studio. So when you download the one-shot kit in FL Studio, it might look something like this or something like this. So if it's like this, what you have to do is just extract it. And some of them might just be password protected. So before you download it, please check the description to see if it has any password and you copy it and extract it. But this one doesn't have any of that shit. So what I'm going to do, I've already extracted it. So there's no need to extract it. So you can either extract it to another location or you can extract it here. After you've done that, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to copy the kit. So I've copied it. Then you go to your computer and go to the local disk or depending on wherever you installed your FL Studio. So my own is in program files. So then you go to image line and go to FL Studio 21 or anyone you want to add the one shot kit in. So I'm going to use FL 21. So I'm going to go to data and then you go to patches and then you paste the file here. So I'm just going to paste the file. I've already done it before, so I'm just going to skip. Or just cancel. So as you can see, there are a lot of kits here. There are a lot of sample packs, one-shot kits, and so on and so forth. So after you've done this whole rigorous process or simple it's kind of simple the next thing you're going to do is close this program and then open fl studio so this is my browser so i'm just going to collapse all these things and then look for the sample pack. So it has to be somewhere here. So as you can see, this is the sample pack that I just added to this whole kit. I'm just going to play it and you guys are going to see that it's legit. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I'm going to be making a lot of videos like this in future. So please subscribe and turn on notification. Bye.